Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here, and welcome to the Final Cut. And I literally just got back from seeing the new comic book film to hit the big screen, Birds of Prey, and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Yes, brought to us by director Kathy Yan, and written by the writer who brought us Bumblebee, and who will be writing Batgirl and Flash films, Christina Hodson. And we get the story of Harley Quinn, who has had an explosive breakup up with one Joker and we see how she's trying to get on with life on her own and as she crosses paths with some fantastic characters who are all tied to one Roman uh, Sionis who is the main bad guy in here and we see how Harley Quinn inadvertently brings all these good people together in forming Birds of Prey. Uh, it's no secret that's not a spoiler you know what's going on I mean Birds of Prey is in the title for crying out loud. Let me tell you, this film was a lot of fun. A blast. I love comic book films who just decide to, let's just have fun. And this one definitely is. Now, Margot Robbie really embodies the Harley Quinn character and it shines in here where she jumps in between her crazy zaniness that some even may find annoying to switching gears to being that person underneath that, that intelligent doctor, uh, psychologist, psychologist, uh, psychiatrist, uh, that's still there. You can see it, even though those years with the Joker have uh, broken her. She is coming back stronger than ever. Not only is she coming back strong, but she meets a group of strong characters that I loved. Rosie Perez playing Renee Montoya in here is a fantastic character. I loved her performance in here as Montoya. Such a great cop character. They have a great running joke with her with some of her dialogue. So it is a self-aware, though you don't get near Nearly as many ninks, uh, many winks. Although you don't get many winks to the screen like you would say in a Deadpool film, it definitely had that energy and that spirit. Now, Journey uh, Smollett Bell playing Diana Lance, a.k.a. Black Canary, she is definitely her own Black Canary, and I loved it. It's definitely a different character than what you've seen in the TV series, and I really appreciate that, that the fact that they wrote these characters that we have seen being portrayed in other uh, media and in other areas, and here they really make them their own. Own, and she was fantastic as Diana Lance in here and really some surprises with her character and where they took her and they actually went places where I was hoping they would and really just a solid performance and then uh, we have in here Ella J. Abasco as Cassandra Kane. this young lady was fantastic she held her own with the rest of this cast and it was really fun uh, with her seeing her interact with the rest of these folks and Mary Elizabeth Weinstead as Huntress Wow, what a great character. Each one of these characters felt like their own, and I loved how she played this character. Uh, there's just this uh, quirk about her, this, uh, you know, it, darkness, yet still not too dark. In this very bright film that's full of high energy, she gets to be dark, but just maybe not to the level of dark that we're used to or that many people have complained about in some past DCEU films. Now, Ewan McGregor as Roman Sionis, <laughs> what a great villain to hate. Him and uh, Chris uh, Messina playing Victor Zaz are two villains you're going to hate. And these aren't characters that like you're going to like to hate. You just hate. They are bad people. And I, it was it was fun. This film is a lot of fun. Wall-to-wall -wall action. I know you heard that description said before about films, but this one definitely is got a huge amount of fantastic choreograph. Uh, fights that give everybody a chance to shine and you can see what's going on. They're directed in enough so that you can appreciate the sheer amount of work and talent going on screen with all the stunt folks and our principal actors also getting in on the fight. Uh, especially this third act is just crazy. The whole film is crazy and just a high level energy and like I said you could really equate it with Deadpool and not just because it's rated R it's just got that uh, very fun feel to it and it keeps that throughout it doesn't slow down at all just when you think it might it doesn't uh, now the only thing at all that I may have a slight uh, a 
you know, complaint about is it is called Birds of Prey, but we do see mostly Harley Quinn. But I get that because this is supposed to set some things up. You can tell they are setting some things up to where hopefully this does take off and it opens up the door for us to see a solo Birds of Prey maybe, maybe sans Harley Quinn. But this was a great way, I think, for them to use a very popular character and probably one of the better things to come out of Suicide Squad uh, <laughs> to carry over uh, and introduce these characters and bring people into the theater to see uh, these other characters that you hope we get to see more of because they were badass all the way. Yes, folks, this is fun. And outside of the little quip, overall, I thought this was a, just a great escape at the cinema, and I give it four and a half stubs. Four and a half out of five. I, I just you go see it at the theater and and have fun. Grab your popcorn and big soda and just let yourself escape and get immersed in the wild and crazy world that is the birds of prey and the emancipation, the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. So there you have it, folks. Love to hear your constructive thoughts down below on this fun film. Please check out our Patreon if you haven't already. Some great stuff there. Subscribe if you would like. Love to get that support. And for those of you who have stuck by me as well as those who are new to the channel, I do thank you for the view and the support and until next time remember keep that ticket stub Bye.